place they call the Amway Center in downtown Orlando, Florida. It's the home of the Magic, where we are broadcasting our action live today. We've got some terrific NBA action in store for you today. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and two Hall of Famers, Doris Burke here at the table, and on the sideline, David Aldridge. You look at Chicago. These guys are hot, no doubt about it, continuing to put up win after win. And you'd expect nothing less from the defending champs. They've taken every team's best shot, withstood the scrutiny, and approached the playoffs here with the utmost confidence. You know, obviously, they've been in this situation before, heading toward the postseason, really trying to peak at just the right time. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's check out who's on the floor, courtesy of Gatorade. So for Chicago right now, Don and Levine are the guard set. And down low, it's Markinen and Carter. And it's Allen in at the three side. Now we're right around the halfway point of the season, Doris. This is often when we see the better teams really begin to shift gears and surge ahead. Yeah, we certainly have a better feel for who the contenders might be. We still have a long way to go, obviously, and teams will have some lulls and then some high points, and you've got to be able to weather all of those things but the reality is we have a greater understanding of who has the necessary offensive and defensive components to compete at a championship level. Marketing absorbing the contact. He's really good at staying with his shot through that contact. Chicago shooting their first free throw attempt on the night. For the Orlando Magic, they come into this one following a loss to the Wizards in Washington. Fournier goes in. Conley inside the line. Carter pulls it in. It's been a quick start here for Chicago. Allen kicks to Dunn. That's tipped. Here's Isaac. And he takes that one up and powers it through. This guy has great agility at his position. Jonathan Isaac so fluid when he's driving to the cup. Dunn outside. The pass to Allen. His second shot goes in. Off to a good start. Two for two. How about the head of steam he's able to generate right there and just gets to the rack really easy. Conley kicks to Fournier. Passes it to Conley. Takes a three. It's good. He scores. That's his first basket after missing his first two attempts. Now one for three. And the spacing that Conley provides from long range really has become crucial to this offense. Now, here's Dunn. Looking at his point production, he averages almost eight points a game. Carter, the pass to Levine. Four on the clock. The Bulls need to get a shot off here. Good work there as it goes. And it's six points for Allen. Well, just staying alert. Great setup that time by Levine. Conley against Dunn. Pass to Isaac. Oh, and there's the one-handed jam. I'll tell you, the feed puts him in prime position to convert. The assist was where it needed to be. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. You know, early on, Jonathan Isaac has drawn some comparisons to Kevin Durant. This is a long, athletic, multi-talented forward. He's got tremendous potential. Now, here's Markinen. 26 points for him last game against Houston. Let's a floater go, and it's blocked by Gordon. How about the timing of Aaron Gordon? This guy has got the ability to rise up and send it back. Bamba with it, and it's Carter picking him up. Nice shot there by Bamba. Here's Dunn. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in the first quarter. Bulls moving the ball around. Allen kicks to Dunn. Five on the clock. Back to Allen. Over Conley. Allen shot is off. And so Conley will bring the ball up for Orlando. Defeated by the Wizards in their last game, they'll try to put that one behind them. How about the shooting percentage, though, in the low 30s? That, that tells you all you need to know. I think indicative of some breakdowns in their offensive execution. Uh, you don't create any open looks, and they couldn't make the ones they were taking. He's fighting it in this quarter. Hasn't been able to get into any sort of groove. 
Markinen dishes to Allen. Carter the pass to Allen. Right through the D for the layup. Allen's got eight. Wow, what a crafty player. Gets it done any way he has to. For Chicago, they won their last contest that game against the Rockets. Conley against Dunn. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. A moment here to see the numbers for Allen. How about 44 points per, 13 assists, and 11 rebounds. And with his ability to put the ball in the bucket, he has to be your primary focus defensively. I think defenses plan to stop him, but very few succeed, Greg. And that's why he's his team's leading scorer. Now here's Levine. He's coming off a 16-point game against Houston. Yeah, but he was also a force on the defensive side. Two block shots and also altered a ton of shots. Here's Dunn. Kicks it to Allen. Shoots over Fournier. Allen's shot is off. Orlando's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. With the floater, the shot is good. It's his second bucket in five tries. Oh, that's some fancy ball handling right there since when does he take guys off the dribble? Feeds to Markinen. Allen outside. Knocks it loose. Isaac with the steal. Stolen by Allen. And here we go with Allen running it up the court. For three, Levine comes out of the gate empty. He's 0 for 1. The Magic have gone 5 of 9 from the field here in the first. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. I had a chance to catch up with the Magic head coach. He said we've been playing some of our best offense of late. Not many mistakes. Guys are spacing the floor, setting solid screens, moving the ball. Really can't ask much more from them on that end. Kevin obviously wants that to continue tonight. David, thank you. Sounds like shooting is what he's concerned with most early on. Yeah, they're looking for a controlled, patient offense today. And the key to that will be shot selection. Well, I think that means they need everyone being decisive out there. Make strong, quick decisions at the offensive end. Al Levine following the miss by Evan Fournier from deep. Yeah, Levine finding the open man. The difference for him right now, playing under control. Conley kicks to Bamba. Right side, Conley. Fires for three. His shot is good. Scores his third basket in six tries, shooting 50%. And another lead change. The fans are really getting their money's worth here tonight. Well, this is what they pay to see, right? Competitive close games are simply the best to be involved in. Now here's Allen. He had a career game last time out. Bucket after bucket. Those defenders just look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're getting pushed around on that low block. Here's Fournier. And stolen by Dunn. To the inside, Markinen. That's in, coming off an assist from Dunn. Markinen's got five points so far. And I need to see some more assertiveness out of these defenders. And it'll be Orlando with their first time out of the game right, right here. They're looking for a little bit of redemption in this one after the loss to them here last time. It, it really a resounding loss the last time they matched up. They got absolutely manhandled on the board. You know, sometimes it's about gang rebounding, making sure everyone's in on the responsibility to board it. Let's see if it's more of a group effort tonight. So a new group on the floor for Orlando. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group. Marjanovic checked in for Carter. Jabari Parker comes in for Lowry Markinen. Tyreek Evans is checked in for Levine. And it's Moutier in for Chris Dunn. Locker room presence, one of the aspects that gets overlooked by fans, but Doris not by coaches. And there are some players who have that presence. You know what, Kevin? And this can take the shape of a lot of different things. So one guy that comes to mind is Sean Livingston. Always calm, always about team. Thaddeus Young is not a name necessarily that is at the top of every best player list, but anyone who's ever coached Thad Young believes in his ability to affect positively a locker room. Then you have those guys who maybe are going to challenge you a little bit more, but ultimately are good for the team. 
and I would cite Draymond Green, who will call out a teammate if necessary, push them to greater heights. You need both kinds, I think, Kevin, in your locker room. Now here's Evans following the miss shot by Dragon Bender, and he gets the bucket, and the Bulls lead by three. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Lynn the pass to Bender. Back to Lynn. His second shot goes in. Off to a good start, two for two. Well, you have to love the focus. Jeremy Lynn creating well for himself down low. Makes that one look easy. Pass to Allen. Now, here's Moutier. No points in the game yet for him. Six to shoot. Morjanovic kicks to Evans. Lynn against Allen. Count that one. Allen's got 14. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. The Magic trail by three. Outside, Lynn. Here's Caspi. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. And now you see the 2K leaderboard. Not only have these teams caused a lot of turnovers over the last 10 games, but they've scored off them as well. Number one, the Bulls. Just a terrific job over this stretch of forcing turnovers and capitalizing. They'd love to continue that trend. Denzel Valentine, he's checked in for Moutier. And Parker with the basket on the assist by Evans. Now it's a five-point Bulls lead. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. In the pass to Motley. Frazier outside. He kicks to Lynn. Orlando moving the ball around. Frazier against Evans. Tries it from 19. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. Already it's February. Let's see how the East is matching up. Take a look at the Bulls. They've got their eye on the number one seed as the season moves into the final stretch. Currently first place in the standings. And guys showing no signs of letting up. And of course there's the Magic. Just way behind. Yeah, but checking out Chicago, I think they've lived up to their billing this season. That's for sure. It doesn't look like they'll be slowing down anytime soon. I'd, I'd go even one step further. From what I've seen of them to this point, I think their best basketball may still be in front of them. Well, you, you have to like their work on the boards, Kevin, particularly here to start the game. Trying to get open is Marjanovic. Evan's shot is good. Evans has got his second bucket of the night. <laughs> and if there's a path to the hoop, you can bet Evans is going to try and find it. He stays in constant motion, looking to get to the basket and finish at the rim. Now here's Lynn. He's got five, and the shot is good. Physical basketball there, and in the best sense. A hard screen allows him to shake the defender and get to the bucket for the layup. Allen finds Marjanovic. Allen surveying the D. This one for three. And it's Evans missing. The Magic trail by seven. To the middle. Here's Frazier. Yes. And a nice assist from Lynn. And already you're seeing great execution from both teams. Well, I like the synergy, right? The ball is moving well, and they're seeing that hard work pay off. Allen, the bounce pass. Shoots over Lynn. Evans can't get that one to fall. And something we always talk about, though, shot selection. Yeah, that's not a good example right there. You could have worked it around to get a better opportunity. Now here's Lynn. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against Washington. Caspi passes to Bender, and Bender throws it down. Listen, we know Bender is a big-time threat to throw it down, given how quickly he gets to the rim. Here's Evans, and that one drops. Evans has got six. If you're going in amongst the trees, you have got to be aggressive. Well, he went all in there. He embraces the challenge and somehow finishes with the layup. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Hits the three-point bomb. And 
Lorenzo Allen will bring it up for Chicago. Coming into this, having notched a win against the Rockets in their last game. Yeah, I mean, a surprising victory. Looking like they'd go away easily, but boy, did they come on strong in the fourth. Big time momentum just carrying them all the way for the win. Exciting basketball. Yep, that one goes in there. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Marjanovic down low. And don't go away. We'll be right back. One of the better two-way guards in the NBA, Mike Conley said his inspiration grew. He's one of my favorite players growing up. Um. A new group on the floor for Orlando. The Magic have gone five of eight from the charity stripe here tonight. In the past, it has been suggested, Doris, that up-tempo teams couldn't maintain that style and then go on to win the playoffs. Is that an outdated theory and thought process? Well, I think it has always contingent on the team, Kevin. If you think back to the Lakers Showtime era, when the reality is those were up-tempo Showtime-type teams, right? They could sustain it. But I think the fact of the matter is the teams that sustain success are the ones that can play in virtually any style. Can they play up tempo if you allow them? Certainly. But when the game slows, particularly in the playoffs and the postseason, can you execute in the half court? Because you've got to be able to play both ways, I think, to win in the modern NBA. So for Chicago right now, and down low, it's Markinen and Carter. Emmanuel Moutier out there with Zach Levine. And it's Allen in at the small forward position. Now here is Conley, following the miss by Emmanuel Moutier. And it's Conley penetrating. Good. Conley's got 13 points. Guys, his consistency in terms of shooting has really helped them seize control. Bulls trail by four. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Hi, Kevin. Well, AI in their last time out against the Rockets was terrific. He ended up with 47 points and was diming everybody up with an incredible assist game, setting up his teammates all night long. He put up great numbers in a terrific effort. It's not a game that anyone wanted to miss. And they'll be looking for a repeat performance tonight, Kevin. Thanks, David. It was a performance that not many players are capable of. I know I won't forget it for a while. And you have to think he'll keep it rolling here tonight. When you're that hot, it takes a while to cool down. I think that's the kind of game that carries over and he'll have every chance to do it because I've got to believe he's their number one option. Puts it up and that's good off the glass that time. Allen's got five points now in the quarter. I mean already hot coming into the game. Is it fair to say he's hotter? Conley scanning the floor. To the wing right side. Just five to shoot. Fires at the elbow. Chicago grabs the miss. Allen's got six rebounds now in the game. Here's Levine. And it's blocked by Gordon. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Gordon. Hagen Bender, he's checked in for Bamba. Allen with it. 19 points in the game. Now the pass to Markinen. Isaac with the steal. And now Isaac running the floor all by himself. You know what? You cannot afford to be careless with the basketball around Jonathan Isaac. Those long arms to get into the passing lanes. Woohoo! Allen dishes to Levine. Some nice ball movement by the Bulls. Here's Allen. Rebound by the Magic. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on him. Boy, this guy's a gifted athlete, so if Evan Fournier gets that deep a post position, look out. Allen kicks to Markinen. Levine against Fournier. Here's Allen. One finds the mark. It's the tenth time he's done that tonight on 14 shots. Well, you can see he's feeling it right now. Shots dropping from all over the place this quarter. Fournier passes to Bender. He feeds it to Conley. 
It's tipped. Stolen by Michael Conley. Not enough on that one as it misses. And Joe Allen will bring it up for the Bulls. Outside, Levine. Let's it fly. Allen shot is off. Boy, the mid-range becomes slightly more difficult when the defense is as active as they are there. Now here is Conley. Defense right on him. Here's Isaac. It's hauled in by the Bulls. Carter's got four rebounds now tonight. Levine wide open. He sticks that one in from 20 feet away. Levine's got five points in the quarter. You simply have to account for him on the perimeter no matter what. Levine with a beautiful catch and shoot. Passes it to Isaac. Five to shoot. Got a piece of it. From deep. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. The Bulls making a switch here. Evans has checked in. And it's the Bulls with the ball. Trailing by two. Allen. And slam dunk by Allen. And he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is. And he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. Orlando's gotten two-thirds of their three-pointers to fall tonight. They're six of nine overall. Evans against Conley. And he takes the fantastic lead pass up strong for the slam. He's known as more steady than flashy, but that was a sensational pass by Conley. He can get fancy when he needs to. Now here's Allen. 23 points in the game. And Aaron Gordon gets the whistle that time. So that will be his second foul of the game. We're in the bonus. And we'll go to the line to shoot two. Bulls have shot 9 of 11 at the free throw line. And looking at the numbers this season, they're shooting a robust 82% from the line. That's about as good as it gets. Jeremy Lin, he's checked in for the match. And Chicago also making a switch. Jabari Parker's checked in for Carter. And the shot goes down. Isaac's got six in the quarter. Just no resistance on the inside. That's their fifth consecutive make in the paint. Markinen dishes to Allen. Evans kicks to Markinen. Ball's knocked loose. From 20 feet out. A nice shot by Lynn. And it's a four-point magic lead. Moving it around. Eight of their last ten coming off assists. There's Allen. That's good on the assist by Evans. And that's now 25 points for Allen. He has certainly done his part this period. Uh, just needs to get a little more help from his teammates. Five-second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. In the pass to Isaac, and they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. And started hot, and he's only gotten harder. This is his second attempt at the line tonight. And 74%, yeah, you know, so-so, we -so, probably wouldn't mind seeing it a little bit higher. And a wide-open look for Lynn. Misses the three. And that's it for the first half of action. What's been a very... And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. Really an incredible game from AI. Yeah, the kind of leadership he provides, the pinpoint passing, we saw it all there on display in that first half. And, Greg, you know this, having played the point guard position. He's been excellent at cutting apart the defense with both his passing and his playmaking thus far. Gordon down low with Bamba next to him. Fournier out there with Kump, and it's Isaac in at the three. That's who's out there for Orlando. Conley's shot is off. Bulls trail by four. Pass to Markinen. Kicks to Levine. Here's Markinen. Pass to Allen. Outside Levine. Six on the shot clock. Looking for Allen and gets it there. And it's Muhammad Bamba with the foul. That's foul number two for him. Here's Allen. Done outside. 
Allen with it. And it's Gordon picking him up. Carter. And he just takes pleasure in shutting his man down. I love seeing Bamba work this hard on that end of the floor. They get it again. Here's Isaac. Off target at the rim. He definitely got nervous at the rim. I mean, he needs to make sure he finishes strong. Allen inside, over by Conley. Good on that shot. And with that, the Magic lead is cut down now to just two on the basket from Allen. Right around a minute and a half, played here in the third quarter. Fournier against Levine. Outside Fournier. He kicks to Gordon. Shot clock at six. And here's Conley outside. Markinen pulls it in. They're fortunate to be in front given how shaky he's been from the floor tonight. Carter dishes to Markinen. The pass to Dunn. Some nice ball movement by the Bulls. For the tie, here's Allen. Cross contact on the shot, and now a three point play chance as he'll head to the line. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. The Magic making a switch here. Caspi's checked in. Now here's Conley. He's got 13. And a strong finish with two hands. As we approach the fourth quarter, still anyone's ballgame. Yeah, neither team able to create much of a cushion. Passes to Markinen. Allen kicks to Markinen. Back to Allen. Flies a three. It's hauled in by Gordon. Gordon's got five rebounds tonight. Well, sometimes it just takes an opportunity in the NBA, and, and Aaron Gordon has made the most of it. Since taking over that power forward role full-time, he has shown remarkable improvement. Plays with more confidence and aggression on offense and has transformed himself as a player. Allen, that's good. Yeah, that's just a nice pass. This was one of college basketball's premier playmakers done showing great vision. Orlando's gone 0 of 2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Conley finds Fournier. Now Casper, guarded by Levine. Down against Conley. Let's it go from deep, and he's good on the three ball. Conley's got 16. And for Gordon in his first full season as a starter, he instantly became a star in the league. And when he was taken fourth overall, this was the type of player the team was hoping he'd become. His outside shot has improved by leaps and bounds and always plays with speed and athleticism. And now I think he's got a much more fully rounded game, which makes him dangerous. And here is Conley after the three-pointer from Lowry Markinen. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. It's a problem trying to deal with the athleticism of Aaron Gordon. You've got to be more careful as a defender. Jefferson's checked in for Orlando. And a change for the Bulls. Denzel Valentine, he's checked in for Lowry Markinen. Two points, that one goes. Again and again, they're dissecting the defense and creating those high percentage looks from inside. Down low. The basket by Gordon. Gordon's got the game tied up here for the Magic. Quick instincts from the savvy big man. Aaron Gordon getting his shot off under duress. Nice. On the wing, Levine, who's guarded by Fournier, tipped away and stolen by Fournier. Pass to Caspi. Shoots it. Doesn't go that time. Good work defensively by Carter. More good work on the glass there. When it's all said and done, I think rebounding might tell the story in this game. I tell you, that jumper of Levine, so pure looking when he's in rhythm. Conley, the pass to Jefferson. Conley against Dunn. And Caspi kicks to Gordon. From the stripe, they get it back. Jefferson lays it up and banks it in. Defensive rebounding, just such a crucial part of the game. I'll tell you, if you don't box out well, expect to get burned. You can't afford to give them second chance opportunities. Now here's Allen. 32 points in the game. 
On the wing, Levine, defended by Gordon. Here's Allen, it's over Fournier, and that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Let's bring out the 2K leaderboard to see the best up-tempo teams in the league. Number one, the Bulls. And that's a fun category. Most fans love that kind of up-tempo offense. And these guys are the best in the game playing that stop. Catching up on the changes for Orlando. Motley, he's checked in for Aaron Gordon. And Frazier comes in for Fournier. And it's Jeremy Lin in for Mike Conley. And Chicago also making a switch. Parker's checked in. Allen kicks to Levine. Second chance shot. On the wing, Levine. No one near him. And it's Lynn with the rebound. Now kicking himself on that one. That is the shot he wanted. Well, that's usually money. And Markinen is showing the aggressiveness you like to see in a guy with his skill set. Somebody who doesn't lack confidence when he shoots the ball. Here's Isaac. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Allen finds Parker. Back to Allen. And then Allen slams it in. And he placed that pass out in front of him and let him just run into it in rhythm. Magic leading by six. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Bounce pass, Lynn. Motley the pass to come. And Bamba now top of the key. Just five on the clock. Stolen by Markinen. And now here's Markinen, the fast break chance. And it's good for two. Now just a four-point Orlando lead. And you got to like the vision for Markinen. I mean, a big man who knows how to find the open man. And that's going to do it for the third quarter. It's the Magic up four. And we're just moments away from the start of the... And a quick look now at the State Farm assist of the game. And, you know, you can always count on him for at least a couple of these pretty assists over the course of a game. And this one, a thing of beauty. So, G.A., you know a thing or two about a point guard's job. Set the table for your teammates. Done there perfectly. And it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. Taking a look at the Bulls. Parker and Markin in the undersized front court. Tyreek Evans out there with Zach Levine. And it's Allen in at the small forward. I'll tell you, he's not going to get in his coach's good graces if he's missing wide open looks like that. Lynn against Levine. Lynn dishes to Conley. Now, Bamba. Five on the clock. I'm deep. Isaac misses. Bulls trail by four. Oh, and a fast break for the Bulls. Kick out to Levine. Back to Allen. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. Arkanen can't get it to go. Defensive positioning so important, and he could not have played him better there. Outside Conley. Fourth quarter, still young, just over a minute play. Pass to Bamba. Levine against Land. Puts one up from 19. Once again off the mark, Orlando. And it's Evans with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Chicago Bulls. Here in the fourth quarter, their defense has been very strong, allowing no baskets. Allen left side. It's over Isaac. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. And that one falls for Allen. Carter, he's checked in for Parker. He makes one of two that time. Really getting after the defense since the break. He's so hard to keep off the line when he pushes the action. Here's Lynn. Count that one. And the Magic lead by five. Well, you can't let Jeremy Lynn get started. This guy's starting to feel it right now. Evans feeling it out a bit. Kicks it out to Allen. And the pass to Markinen. 
Isaac with the steal. And now Isaac running the floor all by himself. Here's a look at the schedule for the Orlando Magic. On Wednesday, they'll be matching up with Al Horford and the Boston Celtics. Then on Saturday, they're off to Brooklyn to face off with the Nets. And looking at the schedule, it isn't ideal in terms of the upcoming games with the amount of quality teams they're going to be playing. But it's also a good chance for you to get some confidence and, and really see just how good you are. Allen kicks to Markinen. Evans against Conley. And that's Evans penetrating. That's his sixth field goal today, and that makes him now six for 11. And how about the efficiency Evans has shown in the paint? Once he's got his position, he's looking to score. Here's Conley and Allen with the block. That's going to be out of bounds. The Magic will retain possession. This Dunn's checked in for Chicago. Levine against Lynn. From deep. He can't hit that time. And it's Chicago the other way. And following this game, they hit the road to challenge the Bucks in Milwaukee. And that game will be game two of three straight on the road. Levine kicks to Markinen. Fires from deep. Another three for Chicago. And those are the types of shots down the stretch that win you ball game. Orlando leading. Passes it to Gordon. Just tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. Lays it up off the glass. Listen, we know Aaron Gordon is a high-activity player, and if you give him daylight, he's ready to shoot it. Dunn passes to Allen. Kicks to Markinen. Lock at six. Dunn misses. Magic leading by four. Inside, Gordon can't get it to fall. And here is Allen at the elbow. It's Markinen. Got it. Good job in the low post. Markinen's got five points now this quarter. And guys on defense gasping for air at this point. <laughs> Gasping for air and giving limited effort on the defensive end. Right now, it's all about the offense. Boy, the shooting has been off the charts. And how about the grit and determination in the post? I mean, essential qualities to have late in a close game. Dunn dishes to Allen. He kicks it to Markinen. Over to the wing. Dunn passes to Allen. Carter with a three. It's not going to go for him. Orlando, they've gotten only three of their nine field goal attempts to go down since the end of the third. Pretty cold down the stretch. Gordon against Markinen. Shoots from 12. Here's Bamba. And good work on the boards. They pick up the second chance points. And the Magic lead by six. Yeah, and this is something Bamba does so well. The unbelievable recognition and timing to come up with offensive rebounds. Allen shot is off. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. Isaac kicks to Conley. Gordon against Markinen. And they double up Gordon. And it's Chicago with the rebound. That's what we're talking about in terms of the activity level defensively. You got to protect the rim. No, exactly, Greg. Especially when the ball is that deep inside. You've got to respect how he altered that shot. Conley against Dunn. Conley kicks to Gordon. From downtown. He can't get that one. And it's Chicago the other way. Pass to Allen. to Levine. Allen against Gordon. Carter right side. Now here's Levine. Down low. Stolen by Bamba. 
And here we go. Fast break. Lynn's got it. Count the bucket. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. I know Jeremy Lin has got a thin frame, Kevin, but don't let that fool you. This guy can play through contact. And Orlando making a change here. Fournier is checked in. And they didn't shoot it very well from the line in the first half, but they've gotten much better since halftime, and it's helped them to secure the lead. Chicago calls timeout. And now a moment to take a look at our Jordan player of the game. And, and tell you what, he's worked very hard to get himself in good position throughout the course of this game and that comes across in his shooting percentage he's hit over half his shots from the field and that's not because he got hot as much as it's because of the effort he put in to get himself open this is as good a game as we've seen him play and this crowd can't get enough of it when he explodes like this it becomes a special atmosphere in here Boy, as we reach the latter stages he's been in a ridiculous groove they simply can't get over the hump Michael Conley, he's checked in for Jeremy Lin. Conley kicks to Gordon. Back to Conley. And there's the whistle. That goes on Chris Dunn. That's his third foul of the game. Outside Conley. Levine against Fournier. Beyond the arc. Rebound collected by Levine. A drive by Allen. Pass to Markinen. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. The pass to Allen. Outside Levine. Clock at four. And again, no good by Chicago. And there's the foul. It'll go on AI. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. Conley against Dunn. Here's Isaac. The feed to Bamba. Outside Conley. Six to shoot. Fournier in the corner. And it's Mohamed Bamba with the foul. That's his third foul of the game. Bulls trail by four. Allen dishes to Markinen. Stolen by Gordon. And now Isaac running the floor all by himself. And Allen with the block. Levine looking around. Passes it to Allen. Done outside. Back to Allen. free throw is good and Allen drops them both Conley with it outside Fournier kicks to Bamba pass to Conley and here's Gordon done covering here's Isaac once again off the mark Orlando just a cold shooting night. Needs to try to make it into the basket. Allen passes to Markinen. Isaac with the steal. They get a hand on it. It's stolen by Allen. And here's the fast break. Dunn leading the way. Allen, that's good. And a good example there of why it's important to change ends quickly. Well, that's how you attack in transition. Remarkable effort. Getting as high percentage a look as you can really get. Conley finds Fournier. Poked away. Outside Conley. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Dunn. Just five on the clock. The Magic need to get a shot off here. And it's Gordon finishing it off. 
crucial moments. How big time is he? And that was an Unleashed Chaos moment indeed. What a spectacular play. Sponsored by Under Armour Hover Hat. Allen kicks to Markinen. Great pass to set up the lay-in. Markinen's got the game tied up here for Chicago. A, a good score inside, and, and the defense really offering very little resistance. They've got to be willing to step up. And when it's this close, you just can't let them get easy buckets. Make them feel you a bit. Tries again, and right through it goes. Isaac's got six here in this quarter. Wow, evolving before our eyes. Jonathan Isaac wanting the big bucket. Go ahead. Allen passes to Markinen. Back to Allen. Outside, Levine. And it's Chicago scoring again. This guy is big time, unafraid in the moments that matter most. Levine, big time. Conley finds Gordon. over Markinen. Rebound by the Bulls. Allen's got 13 rebounds in the game. Class eating. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. So the first one drops, and that gives him the lead. So he goes two for two at the lock, and it's a two-point ball game. And how about the composure there at the line? A ton of pressure on those free throws, and he knocks them both in. Oh, going high to throw that one down. Sky high. Fantastic one-hand jam. And so it's Conley bringing up the ball for the Magic. Pass to Gordon. Over Markinen. Dishes to Markinen. Dunn kicks to Markinen. Good ball movement here by the Bull. Allen passes to Dunn. Feeds it to Carter. To the inside. Pocket six. Back to Allen. Shoots over Isaac. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. Tolerate gaffes like that sometimes, but in a close game, man, I tell you what, that really hurts. Let me try to take as much time off the clock as they can. Exactly. Expect to see longer possessions from this point on. Guys, we've seen a lot of turnovers in this one. Focus, focus, focus. Just make the simple play. Allen outside. Isaac with the steal. Here's Conley. Money! It feels like that one could be the dagger. Not, not enough time to completely erase this deficit. Well, Greg, it's going to be tough, that's for sure. A shot like that has to devastate the other team. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. They're behind by four. Five seconds left in the fourth. Guys, what's your take? And you know what? They're not ready to give up yet. They'll try to intentionally foul if they can get a quick hoop. Five seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Picks it out to Markinen. And so the big win by Orlando in a tight game. They didn't make it easy on themselves.